You're in business, you're hiring staff, and every time you hire them, you lose them. Turnover never ends. You put your work and time into somebody for a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month, three months, and then you lose them, and then you gotta start all over, and the countless hours of you developing somebody and time that you invest is all lost, all simply because you've got low retention and high turnover. I wanna give you one, just one significant drastic difference one little tip that you could do that will change the game for you forever and i'm going to share that with a story a story that's going to be so relatable with everybody it's just one thing and one thing only you have to do. So I want you to imagine you're throwing a house party. You're inviting people to your home and there's two types of parties you're gonna throw. The first party is you have guests over and when your guests come to arrive to your home, they knock on the door, they can hear the sound of the music that people are in the, in, in the house, but no one answers the door. So, you know, they let themselves in because they know they're invited and when they go in, you know, no one's welcomed them. There's, they just see a bunch of people. They don't know whether to take their coat off, take their shoes off. They're walking through the party and you know, as they're walking through, it's just a small little high and by, but no one actually greets them. Then from there, you know, maybe a half hour goes by, somebody greets them and says, hey, would you like a drink? And they're just kind of sitting all confused. And even imagine yourself, forget you being the host of the party. Imagine you being the one going to that party where it just wasn't welcoming versus if you came over to my house for a party, I'm gonna make sure that I don't, I always have the door open so I can see who's coming in and right away I'm gonna come and greet you and welcome you, ask you to, you know, let me take your jacket. I'm gonna bring you into the party, offer you a drink. I'm gonna then introduce you to some people and say, you know, make a common introduction, make you comfortable. If you've come with your spouse, make your spouse extremely comfortable and show you around the whole place so that way you know exactly where you are, what you could do, all the fun stuff that we're doing and just enjoy your time and make you comfortable. That alone is a scenario that we've all experienced. We've all been to really weird parties where we weren't comfortable and we just left and we've been to great parties where we never wanna leave. That right there, my friends, is the same exact series of emotions that someone takes on when they are just starting a new job. Depending on their first day, the first moment they open that door to arrive, the moment when they go to park the car in the driveway um, or in the parking lot of your business, all the way to the end of their first day, it is so critical to give them an experience of welcoming. You're gonna see a statistic that is roughly, I believe it's one in five people quit their job within their first week. I guarantee you most of that statistic I would probably say 75% of that statistics comes from an absolutely terrible onboarding experience. Very corporate, very traditional, very here you go, let's just get you into training right off the bat. And nothing was welcoming. So with that, I'm gonna give you a couple of tips of things you could do when your first person is starting, any employee for whatever range, this could be applied for a $15 an hour employee to $200,000 a year employee. Um, this, these few little things that you have to do will be so critical. A, is a welcoming text or email before they're coming in with a couple of instructions saying when you park, this is where you park. When you come in, this is who you're gonna be asking for, this is where we're gonna meet you. So that way, the feeling of wonder of what's next, where do I go is out of it. You wanna take out the element of confusion. So step one, a day before instructional email or text message to go to them. So that way they know what they're getting through. Second is when they meet that designated person, that person is so welcoming, maybe throw in a nice little gift, maybe a little gift card, something to welcome them. It doesn't have to be anything too extravagant, but something to say, hey, welcome to the team. We're happy to have you. Then a nice little walkthrough for maybe 20 minutes, half hour, show them the whole facility, however long it takes, show them around. And throughout that walkthrough, what I'd like you to do, which is very important, is introduce them to people. Depending on the size of the company, what I'd actually recommend what you do is you plan this ahead of time. You should plan for at least one person, someone, and that person has to be somebody that your new employee will be working with a lot. You need to let that existing employee know that, hey, we have a new hire and I'd like you to be their mentor, someone that they can speak with, be comfortable with, etc. on their first few weeks here. So that way, 
Um, everybody who's an employee, you know, not every time they want to bother their boss. They almost feel like they just want to stay focused on their job to impress their boss. So you want someone who's they're working with to be their colleague, their partner in crime. So by pre-emphasizing that, by by having a designated person prepared for that, that is a huge, huge factor. So now, as you do your walkthrough and you introduce that new employee to their their sidekick, so we call it, you know, now now it's uh, now they're feeling welcome. They feel like they have the resources. Now they feel comfortable. And now when they go home on their very first day of work, they can go home to their spouse and say, I had a great day at work. Everyone was so nice. Everybody was so welcoming. I didn't feel confused. It was actually so well organized and so well orchestrated. So when I have those emotions as a new employee, I am absolutely, why would I ever want to leave the company? I'm so impressed from the minute I got there to the minute I left the first day that now I personally want to work really hard because I'm, I'm really enjoying this and I'm very fortunate that I got this job. So it's those small, subtle things that every HR manager, business owner, um, this could be for anybody, any company that's the size of your, from your first employee to your thousand employees. Um, that is hands down the best tips I can give you. All text beforehand, email with instruction, plan a walkthrough, give them a nice welcoming gift actually, and then plan a walkthrough. Have a designated person that they'll be working with to be their mentor, guide, someone who can really show them the ropes. And that is all. From there, you could then start training and developing the person that you have. Hey, thanks for watching our content. Listen, if you're running a business and you're struggling to find staff, I want to introduce myself. My name is Christian Saab. I own CPG Recruitment, and I help companies across North America find the people that they need to find. Listen, a great business cannot be built unless you've got great people. You and I both understand that having the right people on your team is so important. And that's where I can come in and help you. So listen, I want you to shoot me a text message. Here's my direct cell phone. Have my number. Reach out to me. I'd love to hear your story and get to know what you're trying to accomplish. And that way, maybe I can help you fix this problem.